As we approach our 200th anniversary in 1976, we remember that this nation launched itself as a loose confederation of separate states without a workable central government. At that time, the mark of its leaders' vision was that they quickly saw the need to balance the separate powers of the states with the government of central powers. And so they gave us a constitution of balanced powers, of unity with diversity. And so clear was their vision that it survives today as the oldest written constitution still in force in the world. For almost two centuries since, and dramatically in the 1930s, at those great turning points, when the question has been between the states and the federal government, that question has been resolved in favor of a stronger central federal government. During this time, the nation grew and the nation prospered. But one thing history tells us is that no great movement goes in the same direction forever. Nations change, they adapt, or they slowly die. The time has now come in America to reverse the flow of power and resources from the states and communities to Washington and start power and resources flowing back from Washington to the states and communities and, more important, to the people all across America. 